You've been an outstanding football player your entire life, but today you got to test out your golf skills. How'd it go out there? Oh, that's a different ball game entirely. You know, we uh, really enjoy coming down. It's a great event. Uh, it's a great, great cause, obviously. And and I uh, get around and you kind of gaga because you see some of the players, and especially the baseball players that uh, you grew up with and had baseball cards and things like Jim Perry and and Kenny Sanders and uh, a lot of players like that. So it's a great event. A lot of people come out to the course and uh, it's been enjoyable for us and uh, for a great cause. So uh, it's always good to be back to Venice. And you kind of hinted at it earlier. This is kind of a big reunion for you guys. You were here last year. Is it fun catching up with some old pals? Well, it is, and uh, you know, sometimes a few of the pals aren't back that year, but uh, it's, uh, it's a question of when the first time you sit down and talk to me, say, okay, now, how many knee replacements did you have this year? How many hip replacements and things like that? That's always, you always get into the medicals right away, but it's always great to see them and just, uh, you know, it, it comes around quite fast. And so uh, we've always enjoyed uh, the chance to get to uh, talk to some of the players that we bumped into a long time ago. A lot of baseball players are in the mix down here being celebrities of the tournament, and there's a handful of football players. From your judgment, who has a better arm with the golf swing? Is it the baseball players or the football guys? Oh, there's no question it's the baseball players. I mean, football guys, uh, we play golf in training camp once in a while, but baseball guys, they're always you know, practicing in the warm weather. They're not out in pads and hitting each other. And so baseball players are, I think, by far uh, much better golfers than the football players. And it has to feel a good feeling just knowing that all this money raised at this golf tournament goes to support tons of local charities and not just buying them things, but really funding their entire program. Well, you can tell on some of the events that are uh, really very well attended is the, the number of sponsors that you have. And here, you, the book that the Ron Noble puts together about the sponsors and the number of sponsors that play is significant. And that really tells you that it's a great event and uh, it's well, uh, well uh, thought out and uh, very much uh, supported by the sponsors. So we hope we can see you back next year. Absolutely, I'll be here. I heard you got a chance to play last year with Allison Henning and you said she's pretty good. <laughs> She hit the ball a long ways. I mean, it was always, we, we just we had to hit. Everybody had to hit two drives, but we had to really force it because she was such a long hitter and a great player. So really enjoyed it. But uh, unfortunately, we didn't win. But it wasn't because of her play. <laughs> yes, we always loved having fun with her with golf course. Thank you so much for joining Thank me for this interview and go in there and have you a good time in Thanks the country club. Appreciate and guys, we'll be back out here in sports in the 6:30 show. We'll actually hear from Don and Ben and see how they kind of stacked up today. So we'll see you back here later on tonight, Nicole Grant.